What's up guys? It's your girl Nancy Count and I took on Dania King TV kama kawaida and today I am honored to have Mombasa's finest, yani a girl toto. Yani ukimwona hivi, ah, mimi hata sifiki. Eh, sifiki kabisa. <laughs> she is the talented and beautiful Nasha Travis. Mambo. Poa sana. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good, a little bit tired, exhausted. Je, nimetoka classes so Yeah. And um, I, I'm just going to dive into the conversation. So you've been in the music industry for a minute now. Yeah. Maybe you can tell us, you know, the experience and yeah, your experience so far. Tango wanze paka sai. Um in the music industry I've been like uh, I've been one year and a, a few months, one year and a few months. And um the experience has been amazing. It has been amazing at the same time not that amazing also there's been ups and downs here and there challenges a lot yeah but you know kungangana with my small team and what are the challenges that you have you have faced so far since you started music one of the challenges is financial so um, my mom is the one who's supporting me in my music industry she's the one who is paying here and there and also my manager so it has been hard since najapia hawa kuna maisha yao. Yeah, so my mom has I have brothers. So my mom uh endo analipa school fees, ndio anafanya hivi na hivi. Also my dad so is chipping also. So but it's it has been hard. It has been hard for her pia kunilipia because music in a take and it you spend a lot. You invest a lot. Alafu sasa kupata najua upati ile haraka. You wait. Una inabidi ungoje. You have to be patient paka uanze sasa kupata. And to come Missouri. Yeah, so before you get to that, eh, unachoka, unachoka, you spend a lot of money, so it has been hard. Yeah. And on that note of, you know, being patient with the payment, mm. um like a lot of artists have been saying, you know, msiki hailipi, hailipi. So yeah. far on your end, how have you benefited from music in terms of coming coins from the so from the music department? Amo me pata like any brand deals from, you know, because right now Nasha Travis is kind of a big name. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically the coins I get them from Boomplay, you know, streaming platforms. Uh, Boomplay, Spotify, you know, a good amount of money. Alafu pia um, shows, shows like I've performed kwa Tasca E, Tasca Festival, Tasca Festival, Tasca Nextas. Yeah, I've performed there, I've performed on clubs, I've performed just here and there, a little bit, you know. Uh, they're giving good money, they're giving good money. So kwa wale ambe, wanasema ti, oh mziki haina pesa, it's for you to work hard. Lazima utengize, it's a matter of, you know, branding your name first. Alafu it takes time, it takes time. So kale ambe wajapata, I don't know. Maybe they need to keep on branding their name very well. So mm. And speaking of performing like on stages, how do you feel when you when you're on stage? Like come leo, let's say umebuki wana let's say a certain club and you're supposed to perform, do you get like anxious or are you just excited? Or what comes into your mind right before stepping on that stage? I do get anxious a lot. A lot. I get scared. I can't breathe. But if even you kitoka sasa pale, you just have to do it. It's either you do it or not. That's just facts. You either do it or not. I love you know what you want. I know what I want. So nikifika pale I'm a totally different person. That is not that is not Natasha, that is not Nasha. That's a totally different person over there. I'm here to give you what you want. So I just do me. Apo hakuna kuogopa. But when it comes to the other side, I'm like what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so hata mi mwenye wana jishitua. So it's like you have the Sasha fierce in you, you know? Yeah, kind of, kind of. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, what motivates you to wake up every day and be like, you know what, I'm going to do music, I won't stop doing it. That's what I want and I'm going to keep at it. Um, I think it has been, okay, it has been a dream of mine ever since I was a little kid. I, I kept on dreaming of performing on stage, of, you know, doing music, my music being recognized worldwide. It has been a dream, Nikiwa am Dogo. So definitely I'm doing it for me. When I wake up every morning, I'm doing it for me, for my future. And also at the same time, I'm also doing for my fam uh, for my family, for my mom, my brothers. Like, they've seen me grown, growing. And growing national kiimba and everything, telling them, oh, I want to be a, a star, I want to be this and that. So, wakiona hivyo, 
They're like, you know, they, ha- they keep on pushing me, especially my mom. She keeps on pushing me. Now she, you need to do this. You need to do this. Is your Instagram like this? Is your Facebook like this? Um, are you going on lives? Are you doing this? You need to practice on your vocals, you know. So they keep, they keep me going every single day. Okay, being, you know, you're, you're an artist right now and they say you need to have a team. So how, you, how did it boil down for you till you decided, you know what, I want to have this person on my team, Oyo Simtaki, how did you decide that and how was the process like for you? Okay, the process wasn't that hard. I, I feel like, you know, ni mungu tu, I get those good people. So, um, to Lipatana Nelson, Nelson is my manager, Nelson Mandela, the owner of the CEO, you know, CEO by Nelson Empire. So, um, I don't know how it actually it happened. It just happened so fast that I can't even remember. And then, to quote, not after two managers, and then he just came along, and they were like, okay, yeah, cool, let's do this, let's try it. We tried to Kafanya Ivo Pole Pole, and then we started picking, you know, people one by one here and there, makeup artist, videographer, Ivo Pole Pole, by their personalities. You know, uh, one thing, one thing about my team is, that they're not here for like at oh ni mekuja tindo ni pate pesa. No. They're here to like let's grow together. And that's one thing I love about them. Let's grow together. Then pesa kikuja badai, itakuja. Tafaya mambu zetu. Ah. So yeah, I think that's one thing special about my team. So and it has been growing as you as you can see actually. And you you recently launched your EP. Yeah. Uh I know that you know kutafuta kuchagua zile nyimbo katika mziki it's, it's quite a process so how was it for you because you definitely had like a long list so how were you able to choose you know what i want this song on my ep ec taki yeah. yeah um ep <laughs> okay so ep has been something that we've been looking for uh, my manager was the one who was deciding on when we're going to remove the EP or not. And I was like, mm, I don't want to move an EP. I'm not ready. Since me to use I was like, mm, are you sure I'm ready? I think that is for, the, for you know, other people, but not me. But like, um, my, my manager kept on being consistent and, uh, you know, telling me that you need to move an EP. Being the first female artist in Coast moving an EP. And I was like, okay, fine. Yeah, I think I can take that pressure. So, um... This year, we were talking about last year. Last year, we got to issue. And then this year, sir, he was like, we're definitely doing this. So now, I should keep on recording each and every single day. Okay, not each and every single day, maybe once a week or something. And then we'll choose. We'll choose one of the songs to keep on the EP. So we kept on going to Nairobi. Um, we even imported um, Bonga, the producer, to come and do, do for us. Track, track, I don't know if it's track number seven, Imejipata. Yeah, I did with an <laughs> with a bongo a bongo producer from Tanzania. So we had to import him also. I had to go to Nairobi and also do those tracks here and there. So it has not been easy. There's been ups and downs here and there. But ikafanyi kayote to kachagua and so far the seven tracks. And what is your favorite favorite song? Favorite song Nimejipata, Uno Naje. And Mimi Nawe, those three songs, and Essence. <laughs> Let's just say everything, everything in that track, but mostly Unaonaje, Nimejipata, and Mimi Nawe. Yeah. Now, Katika, your, your process of creating your EP, do you usually write the songs by yourself, or do you have a songwriter and a idea? Songwriter. Um, I usually also, I write my songs, I write my songs, and also. I can also get a writer to write for me. Like, I, I, I like having, you know, different ideas, not only my ideas, like different aspects of ideas from other people. Yeah. And before we, we finish the interview, yeah. any word, last words you'd like to tell someone out there, you know, who is aspiring to be the next Nasha Travis? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'd tell them, you know, keep on working hard on your talent. Like, you know, it's, it matters when you, you know, you pull that one step. If you want to sing, go to the, to the studio. Record if you want to sing. If you want to dance, go to that uh, dancing instructor. Go and dance. You know, just do what you want. Uh, you know, work on your talent each and every single day. 
don't even uh, don't look at other people that hate on you or whatever tell you at oh actually you're not supposed to do this and this and this no you just do you that's one thing that i learned just do you do your thing you never know maybe you need to tomoka na hapo yeah so yeah and also you know stay blessed love yourself yeah na kwa leo wenye let's say you know the, the world is big so not not everyone knows who Nisha Travis is so the ones who are going to watch the interview where can they find you on the social media platforms so on my social media platforms you can find me uh pale instagram nasha underscore travis facebook nasha travis twitter nasha travis uh youtube nasha travis yani kila kitu nasha travis yeah and that is it guys thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment share and subscribe from king tv to you i was your host nancy kaunda <laughs>